Hello Internet, welcome to new plot tutorial number two. In this particular tutorial, I want to talk about tips and tricks and small little nuances of new plot that can help you make your graph plotting more um, realistic and more attractive. Now, I'm again using a SIGWIN terminal. However, you can install new plot on a Linux based machine and get to the command line for new plot. Now, in the last tutorial, we talked about new plot in plotting a two column data from dat files but here in this tutorial i want to talk about more generic stuff simpler one but essential new plot gives you a lot of inbuilt um, functions that you can plot and just like you you do in uh, MATLAB. Now the first command that I'd like to discuss is plot. It is used to plot a function. GNU plot has an array of functions which are inbuilt. I'm going to touch upon a few of them. For example, sign x all right and <coughs> it gives you a plot of a sine wave and it is evenly distributed on mm, on both the sides of polarity it it is going from minus 10 to 10 on x and minus 1 to 1 from in, in the y-axis evidently. Now, um, as discussed in the previous tutorial, we can plot multiple files in one graph. Similarly, we can plot multiple functions in one graph. You simply need to write plot and then the functions separated by commas for example I'll I can use three functions mm. now for the list of functions that new plot supports you can download the PDF uh, manual for GNU plot which is uh, given in the link in the description you can download it from my Dropbox and this gives me the GNU plot for the three functions Alright, it gives me a GNU plot for the three functions. Uh, one of the functions in the previous list was out of the range. And that is why it was not showing up the sine wave. Now, uh, the next thing, the next small little thing that I want to um, talk about is how you can change the color of uh, these functions for example this green color uh, is not very suitable for projectors so how, how can you change that for that you can simply change this by 
writing lc next to the function rgb line color rgb and then you can specify the color for example we can do a yellow mm, yellow would not be visible either uh, we can do a black so it gives me a black on the absolute value of x and we want to ch change the color for log x let me do that for you we can write this and we can say lc rgb and let's say purple let's try purple okay it, it turns to purple so this is the second thing that I wanted to discuss and the third thing that I want to discuss is to change the titles here for example uh, the legends here show the name of the function however you can change it to your own name if you want a more elaborative name for example for sign x I'll I can give a title sign function and here I can give a title log function now you can see the instruction is plot sine x followed by title and the title has to be in in the quotes and then a comma the comma separates one function from the other so the next function is log x followed by title title in quotes followed by another parameter line color which is rgb purple and then so on and so forth and here you can see the title here is changed and then we can further proceed on to give x label my functions set y label as amplitudes and replot So we've got a more professional looking graph and similarly you can explore more functions like Bessel function something of this sort you can explore more and more using the inbuilt functions and the last command or instruction that I would like to discuss is splot for 3d plotting uh, I'll use the same functions but with splot this time around and it shows me 
a 3D graph of Bessel function, two Bessel functions. And I hope this quick tutorial on small little tricks that can make your graph plotting fun and effective was helpful. And thank you so much for watching the video. You have a good one. Give peace a chance. Bye-bye.